Welcome to worship with the saints of St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Durham, North Carolina. We're glad you're here. If you'd like to follow along with a bulletin, please go to our website, stlukesdurham.org. Uh, go to the worship resources section, and the bulletin will be right there for you. We'll begin with Be Thou My Vision, hymn number 488. We invite you to sing along. <laughs> those things that are right, that we who cannot exist without you may by you be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 A reading from 2 Samuel. The king, David, ordered Joab and Abishai and Ittai, saying, Deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. And all the people heard when the king gave orders to all the commanders concerning Absalom. So the army went out into the field against Israel, and the battle was fought in the forest of Ephraim. The men of Israel were defeated there by the servants of David, and the slaughter there was great on that day, 20,000 men. The battle spread over the face of all the country, and the forest claimed more victims that day than the sword. Absalom happened to meet the servants of David. Absalom was riding on his mule, and the mule went under the thick branches of a great oak. 
His head caught fast in the oak, and he was left hanging between heaven and earth, while the mule that was under him went on. And ten young men, Joab's armor-bearers, surrounded Absalom and struck him and killed him. Then the Cushite came, and the Cushite said, Good tidings for my lord the king, for the Lord has vindicated you this day, delivering you from the power of all who rose up against you. The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with the young man Absalom? The Cushite answered, May the enemies of, the Lord, of my lord the king and all who rise up to do you harm be like that young man. And the king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would I had died instead of you, O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let's join in Psalm 130 in unison. Out of the depths have I called to you, O God, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If your were to note what is done amiss, O God, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for you, O God. My, my soul, soul waits for you, and in your, your word, word is my hope. My, my soul waits for you, more, more than, than centuries, centuries for the morning, more than centuries for the morning. morning. O oh, Israel, Israel, wait upon God, God for with God, God there is mercy. With, with God, God there is plenteous redemption. redemption. God, God shall redeem Israel, Israel from all their, their sins. sins. A reading from Ephesians. Putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up to stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands, so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. The Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Christ. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. Then the Jews began to complain about him, because he said, I am the bread, of, bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not complain among yourselves. 
No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me. And I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from the Father. He has seen the Father. Very truly I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of our Savior. Praise to you, O Christ. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. We invite you to type your prayers in the comments section so that we can join you in your prayers this day. Let us pray together, making our request to God, saying, Spirit of the living God, hear us and change us. Gracious God, we pray for peace, accountability, justice, and reconciliation in this land and throughout the world. We pray for basic human rights for all, we pray for the relief of the oppressed. We give thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of all people on the earth. Spirit of the living God, hear us, hear us and change us. We pray for the renewal of the church through deepening faith, love, and service. We pray for Michael, Sam, and Ann, our bishops, for Helen, our rector, and for the ministry and mission of St. Luke's and her people. We give thanks for the gift of your word, the grace of your sacraments, and the companionship of your people. Spirit of the living God, hear us as Jesus. We pray for our local community. We pray for all people in their daily life and work. We pray that we may see and respond to the needs of those around us. We give thanks for the gifts of beauty, creativity, skill and compassion which enrich our world and our lives. Spirit of the living God, hear us and change us. We pray for all who are in need, for the sick, the lonely, the poor, for those living with mental illness, addiction or trauma, for those who are fatigued and for those who mourn. We pray for those who have died. Spirit of the living God, hear us. We pray for all who bring comfort, care, and healing. 
would give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enriches our daily lives. Spirit of the living God, hear us. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of all mercy, mercy. we We confess confess that we have sinned sinned against against you, opposing your your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. And now God, who is both power and love, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by the Holy Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And And also also with you. by the mercies of God, present yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. God be with you. And also also with with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them them to to our God. God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right to give give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and good and joyful to give you thanks, all holy God, source of life and fountain of mercy. You have filled us in all creation with your blessing and fed us with your constant love. You've redeemed us in Jesus Christ and knit us into one body. Through your spirit, you replenish us and call us to fullness of life. Therefore, joining with angels and archangels and with the faithful of every generation, we lift our voices with all creation as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Holy One, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed Blessed is is the the one who comes comes in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of the universe and giver of life. You formed us in your own image and called us to dwell in your infinite love. You gave the world into our care that we might be your faithful stewards and show forth your bountiful grace. But we failed to honor your image in one another and in ourselves. We would not see your goodness in the world around us 
And so we violated your creation, abused one another, and rejected your love. Yet, you never cease to care for us and prepare the way of salvation for all people. Through Abraham and Sarah, you called us into covenant with you. You delivered us from slavery, sustained us in the wilderness, and raised up prophets to renew your promise of salvation. Then in the fullness of time, you sent your eternal word made mortal flesh in Jesus. Born into the human family and dwelling among us, he revealed your glory. Giving himself freely to death on the cross, he triumphed over evil, opening the way of freedom and life. On the night before he died for us, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his friends, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Remembering his death and resurrection, we now present to you from your creation this bread and this wine. By your Holy Spirit, may they be for us the body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And grant that we who share these gifts may be filled with the Holy Spirit and live as Christ's body in the world. Bring us into the everlasting heritage of all your children, that with all your saints, past, present, and yet to come, we may praise your name forever. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our our daily bread, bread, and forgive us us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass trespass against against us. And and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us us from from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. In union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are offered this day, and remembering particularly all members of St. Luke's, I long to offer you praise and thanksgiving for creation and all the blessings of this life, for the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let Let nothing nothing separate separate me from from you. you. Let Let me me serve serve you in this life until until by your grace grace, I come come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, 
we give you thanks for restoring us in your image and nourishing us with spiritual food in the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Now send us forth a people forgiven, healed, renewed, that we may proclaim your love to the world and continue in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. May the grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen. Let us sing the church's one foundation, 525.
We are St. Luke's Episcopal Church. Nurtured, Nurtured in Jesus, Jesus we, we welcome, welcome radically, radically, serve gratefully, and, and love abundantly. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We invite you to continue worshiping with our Sermon of the Day, which should be the next video available. It's also on our website to be uh, read or watched, stlukesdurham.org. If you're watching on Sunday morning, we hope you'll join us for coffee hour by Zoom at 11 o'clock. And that link is in the calendar on our website. Thanks for being with us. <laughs>